Hi everyone and welcome to day six of our 14 day yoga challenge or yoga foundations course for September. Um, I hope you're enjoying it so far and it's not been too strenuous and too hard for you. I thought I'd um, make it a little bit gentler today. Um, we're going to look at more at meditation. Um, so normally obviously a lot of people see yoga as more physical practice um, but the main reason obviously when yoga first created came into being ancient times um, the main reason why people did actually the asana practice, which was the physical practice, is so that they're actually able to, so they were actually able to meditate. So obviously, if you're very tight, very sort of tight in the hips, tight in the shoulders, tight in the back, it's obviously really, really uncomfortable for you to actually spend a lot of time in a meditation position, which tends to be with cross legs. So. The main reason why people did the asana practice was to sort of allow themselves just to free the hips, allow themselves just to get to more of a comfortable position. Um, and I know we've used cushions and blankets in the past, which are really, really helpful. I also use a bolster here as well, which is something I use in my practice um, most days, actually, to be fair, because it's a little bit higher than a blanket is. Obviously, um, a bolster isn't essential, but it's actually much more comfortable to sit on. But again, you can use cushions or a pillow. So if you can get those handy, if you've got a bolster, use a bolster. If you've got blankets, pillows, that's absolutely fine. Okay, so we are going to start off in a nice cross-legged position. I'm actually going to use my bolster if that's okay. So just get yourself nice and settled. Okay, so the main reason we're going to add that height is because we can just tilt that pelvis. So we're just drawing ourselves nice and tall. So just take a couple of moments here. It's quite nice just to shut those eyes for a few moments. And all we're trying to do here is just allow ourselves to settle. We just need this time at the start of a practice just to allow ourselves just to sort of go, okay, this is my practice. This is me for the next few moments. Just to sort of almost designate that time to yourself. Just become nice and quiet, nice and still with that breath. as you are allowing that breath to move in and out it's nice just to take a few moments just to maybe scan your body just noticing any areas that feel particularly tight because these are the areas you're going to have to sort of free up a little bit just to get yourself into a nice comfortable uh, meditation position so sometimes it could be the knees sometimes it could be the hips are a bit tight if you find your, your knees are up here obviously it tends to be the fact that your hips are a bit tight if the shoulders are aching all these things need to be released a little bit before we come into a meditation position. So this is all that we're going to release today, really just the shoulders, make sure the back's nice and long, just stretch out any of those kinks. So most of these exercises were actually done before, so we're going to start off just by opening up the body to the side, okay. So if you can, just bring your fingertips onto the floor next to you, onto the right side, if that feels okay for you. The main thing with this particular pose is we're trying to almost go into a 2D shape. So just make sure that this uh, left shoulder stays facing up towards the ceiling. So we're going to slowly bend your right elbow, just push your bottom into the floor. So we're trying to keep that pelvis level, opening up those ribs to the side, just stretching into that waist. Obviously the shoulders, if they feel a little bit tired, feeling tight, you can keep your hand onto that hip or the waist, or you can bring it overhead just to increase that stretch a little bit more. So what we're trying to do is just open up those ribs, open up the lungs, just allow that breath to come more freely. Slowly back to centre. I'm going to change the cross of our legs. So whichever leg you've got in front, is going to bring the hand behind. We're going to do the same on the second side. So let's bring the left hand down onto the floor. So again, that right shoulder stays upwards. We don't bring it forward. Try to ease it back as much as you can. Put the left hand forward, push your bum cheeks nice and level. And again, slowly bend that elbow just so we can get a nice high stretch into that waist, into the ribs. And again, the other hand can stay on to that waist or you can bring it overhead. Don't worry too much if you're struggling with those shoulders, we'll release those in a minute. Keeping the breath steady, let's come back to centre, nice and upright. So just roll those shoulders back, nice and gently. Let's bring the hands onto the shoulders. We're going to slowly rotate those elbows just to free any tension in those shoulders. 
So again, everything should be done sort of really slowly, so we're not rushing it. We're just trying to find those areas that do feel a little bit on the old niggly side, and then maybe rolling them forward. to the hips a little bit now so again if you've got a bit of height that's really nice this bolster is actually a little bit too high so i'm actually going to come off that and then come onto my blankets okay i'm going to bring the soles of our feet together so again this is called cobbler's pose or badakanasana so with this particular pose obviously if you've got tight hips you might find your knees are up there which is absolutely fine don't worry too much they will release a little bit so obviously you've got the option of bringing the feet a little bit closer in if your hips feel okay. So we've got lots of different options, just do what feels right for you. But the main thing is we're actually sitting on our sit bones. So if you find yourself slouching a little bit like this, just try to pull yourself nice and tall, which is again why it's good to have a little bit of height because you are tilting the pelvis. It just makes it, you just have a good starting point. Just draw yourself nice and tall. Just drop those shoulders down. So kind of keep the chest as open as you can. So the shoulders back, just bring these those shoulder blades together a little bit more. So you can stay here if that feels okay for you, but you're still getting that stretch into the hips. Or you can slowly ease yourself forward. Don't worry too much if this feels really uncomfortable, don't come forward if that feels not the right thing to do. At the end of the day, this is your practice. So again, just listen to what your body's telling you. Use that breath, just keep that breath nice and steady. And as you use that breath, you might find you can actually ease yourself down a little bit closer into the floor. Breathing in, just breathing out. Just allow yourself just to sink down a little bit more if you can. Don't worry too much if you can't. The main thing with yoga really, what we're trying to do is just bring that awareness to our body, just knowing where those areas are, are that tight, because once you actually know where they are, then you can actually work with them. So don't worry too much if you feel you're really sort of a bit cranky and a bit creaky and a bit old and or young and creaky, it doesn't make a difference what age you are. It's just having that awareness. And then slowly let's allow ourselves to come upright so again just keeping that core engaged just to allow that spine to stay nice and long imagine a thread coming out the top of your head i'm going to bring those legs out in front of us now and just circle those ankles one way than the other again keeping that height with your bottom on a cushion so we're going to bring the hands behind us now i'm going to turn myself sideways again so you can see so the main thing here we're going to try to keep the legs nice and strong so to point those toes up towards the ceiling Bring the hands behind you. Now I have my fingertips facing towards my bottom only because it's more comfortable for my shoulders. You can have your fingertips facing away or out to the side. Depends on what feels okay for you. Let's go kind of slowly bring those shoulder blades together. Really open up that chest, trying to keep the head in line with the spine. So don't bring it too close to the chest and particularly don't bring it back because you're going to put a lot of pressure on that neck. So just nicely in line, really puff that chest out, push the balls of your feet away from you. And again, you have an option if you want to, if you're feeling a little bit stronger, you can point the toes and come into an upside down plank if that feels okay for you. It's not an essential, you don't have to do that. You can just keep your bottom onto the floor. And then wherever you are, just walk those hands a little bit close to your bottom, come into an upright position. We're going to come into a forward fold. It's from this one again, just make sure you keep the back nice and straight. If you find that your belly's getting in the way like mine does, your legs a little bit wider, I'll let you have that one. And slowly keep the chest open. Let's see if we can slide those hands down the legs. So again, you might just find you can bring your hands onto your knees, maybe your calves, if you can grab hold of your toes, that's fine. Just keep your head up. Get a nice stretch in that back, nice and long in the spine. And again, use that breath, see if you can straighten that out. So what we're trying to do here is just really stretch the back of your body. And then you can slowly drop that head down towards those knees if that feels okay for you. Okay, slowly come back up. 
Wonderful. Okay, so we're going to come into a cross legged position. So you might feel a little bit more on in there, which are those kinks. If cross leg is cross leg is cross legs, it doesn't feel feel comfortable for you. You can just let them come out a little bit more in front of you. The main thing is we're trying to stay upright. So if you find yourself slouching, pop something underneath your bottom. So in this case, I'm actually going to bring my bolster underneath my bottom just to give me a little bit of extra height because it is a little bit more comfortable. Okay, so again, where those, those legs feel comfortable to cross, nice and upright though. And you can also bring your fingers into Gaia Mudra, which is your thumb and your first finger. Now this is the classic meditation pose, it's called Gaia Mudra. So just press the hands either onto the tops of your thighs, or you can have the fingertips facing down, the palms facing down, so just drop those shoulders down your back. I'm going to use a mantra for this meditation. So the mantra is called So Ham, or So Hum. Um, and it's basically two, two words, so and ham. And as we're breathing in, we're going to use the word so. And as we're breathing out, we're going to say in our head the words hum or ham. So hum or ham. Um, and what we're trying to do here, using mantras is a really nice way of getting into meditation because it stops your mind from wandering off into tangents. So breathing in, say the word so. And as you're breathing out, say the word ham. So it can be ham, or it can be hum, depending on how you how you feeling today and really what it means is I am that which just means I am one with the universe so it just allows you to sort of become part of everything so again hands into your Gaia Mudra drop those shoulders down nice and tall just start with that breath again breathing in your own way just breathing into the word so breathing out to the word ham we're going to stay doing this for a few moments just so you can really get yourself into the into the, the rhythm of that breath, with the rhythm of just using those two words, just very simple. Really afraid of mind wandering off. Just if you can bring it back to that breath, normally breathing in and out through the nose. If you can, if you can't, that's fine, breathing in and out through the mouth. Just focusing again on those two words that's so ham. Let's just release that mantra. Let our breath come into its normal rhythm. Just 
You know, some new drift in the stream you take just bring the arms by your side, you're taking a really nice deep breath in. So breathing in. If you have issues with the shoulders, stay staying in cactus arms if you can, just reaching up towards the ceiling otherwise. Breathing out, just let those arms just float down. Breathing back in again, we're gonna do a little bit of a twist now. So you either stay in cactus arms or arms above the head, gently twisting around to the right, let's bring the left hand onto the right knee. Left hand can, sorry, right hand can come behind you. Back to centre, breathing back in again. Twisting around to the left, right hand onto the left knee, left hand behind you, just twist that chest around. Gently releasing back to centre, maybe just stretch those legs out a little bit just to ease those knees and those ankles. And then, Shake yourself out. And then slowly bring your hands into your heart centre. Slowly let those heads down towards those fingertips. Again, just offering gratitude for just taking this time out of your day. Just a little bit of meditation, a little bit of stretching out, just diving out those kinks. Just allow that breath to do what it does. As always, thank you for practicing with me today. Namaste. I hope you've enjoyed day six and I will hopefully see you tomorrow. Take care. Any comments at all, please feel free to just contact, um, just message me or um, just comment underneath this video and I will see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.